Without a doubt, it is an awesome time to be a gamer. Oh my gosh. Alright, so today was actually PlayStation Experience 2016. And oh my goodness, it was so awesome. So much better than what I thought it was going to be. I didn't expect them to show the games that they showed. So actually, also, there will be a uh, PlayStation Experience also continuing tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do like another panel and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not too sure if they are, then I'll be watching that as well. But for today, I've written down a couple things of a few games that they showed and everything. So, oh my gosh. I'm still like mind blown. If you guys saw my video earlier, oh my gosh. I'm just going to say it, Last of Us 2. Holy crap, that is going to be amazing. I seriously cannot wait. Alright, so... First thing they had showed was Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Now, at first when they started it out, uh, it reminded... For some reason, I felt like I knew it was made by Naughty Dog. Especially, I felt... I also knew that... Well, I felt like it was also an Uncharted game. But, I mean, I knew it was made by Naughty Dog, but I didn't know it was going to be an Uncharted game. I thought it was going to be something new. I thought it was The Last of Us 2 that they were going to start off with. Because of the way that they show the characters move, the graphics and everything, it just resembled a Naughty Dog style of games. So, I mean, and at the end when they... But the way it looked, like the gameplay, it started off pretty slow, kind of dragged on, you know, the, the demo that they showed. I was like, alright, let's just speed it along here, you know, it's, take, it's taking forever. Uh, and then they showed uh, Chloe at the end of it, you know, she's like beating up these guys on the roof and everything like that. At first, when she remembered her, I was like, wait a second, Tomb Raider? But I was like, oh, wait a second, now I remembered Chloe from Uncharted, and I was like, oh my god, that's her. But I was like, see, because here's the thing, I remember her from Uncharted too, but I, she, I don't know, I just wasn't really, I didn't think that they would dedicate a whole game to her. I would have preferred probably Cutter or uh, Sully, a younger version of Sully, like back in his day. That's what I would have preferred. Chloe, on the hand, I mean, it's a change, I guess, but, I mean, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see, but it's Uncharted, so I know it's going to be good no matter what. So that was really awesome that they had showed that. Uh, next up was Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Now, I mean, I'm, I like Marvel vs. Capcom. You know, I used to play, like, in the arcades back in the day. Uh, and then I also had picked up later on down the line was Marvel's Capcom 3, and I enjoyed it. It was a lot, a lot of fun. I sucked at online, but I loved playing it. It was more simple, you know, than other fighting games, which I, at the time, you know, I, I wasn't really that much into fighting games, you know. I just wanted to play them casually. So Marvel's Capcom 3, the way the controls were, it was much easier for me to play. Uh, so when they showed Infinite, it looked really good. It actually looked really good. Um, the characters, I didn't really pay too much, I didn't, I don't remember too much of what they showed in the trailer, to be honest. I'm um, sorry I'm rolling around too much, I can't seem to stand, sit still. Uh, but it still looked good, you know, it's Marvel vs. Capcom 4, so hopefully the online is good, you know, it's not like buggy or anything like that, even though it probably will be at first. Uh, but other than that, you know, it looks like a good fighting game, other than that, I mean, I, I enjoyed it at least, but my favorite fighting game, hands down, will always be Tekken, that's just me though. Uh, another game that they showed, now this, I was really happy for, this is Wipeout. Uh, now, I was actually too excited when they showed it, uh, the title at the end. I didn't, all I saw was, I think it was like Wipeout HD, I think it's like Wipeout HD Trilogy or something like that. Well, basically the Wipeout games are coming to PS4 and they look so nice, oh my gosh. Wipeout is so much fun, such an awesome racing game. Not the best racing game in the world, but it's definitely up there in, in the top 10 racing games, for me at least. Uh, one of my other favorite racing games, actually, I would have loved for them to have remade completely, is Kinetica for the PS2. This is one of my favorite racing games on the PS2. Because, uh, you know, I mean, like, I like race games with cars and everything, but I like more of the sci-fi fictional, you know, kind of stuff of, uh, when it comes to racing games. That's why I really like Wipeout. It's futuristic. You got you get different, like, power-ups and stuff like that, so it's really, really fun. So that, I definitely can't wait to give a try. Uh, so after that, they ended up showing new Destiny expansion, which, to be honest, I was just playing Destiny, uh, Iron Banner, or something like that. And, I mean, it's fun, it's okay, but... I mean, I don't know. I just want to play the, the the story mode already, but it's telling me that I need to be able to have a certain amount of light and all this crap and, and uh, 
certain types of gear and I'm like really I really gotta go through all that can I just like wing it and see if I survive it's eh, I mean so yeah destiny it's it is what it is uh, and then this oh my goodness as soon as I heard the tiki sound <laughs> from what I remember from back in the day the weird tiki sound like woo -woo -woo, whatever it was <laughs> oh my gosh that was so awesome because they showed uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. It looked amazing. It's a remake of Crash Bandicoot and it looked phenomenal. Just like I remember it from, from back in the PS1 days. But with today's modern graphics, it looked outstanding. I hope it sells well and I hope they really do bring like Crash back for good. I really miss playing those games. I remember back in the day... When uh, I was in probably like third or fourth grade, uh, in my old school, we were actually allowed to sign out PS1s, like the fat PS1s with learning games and stuff like that. I mainly signed them out just so I could go to Blockbuster and rent some other games like Crash Bandicoot, Final Fantasy, Harry Potter, all these other like, you know, games that they were out, I was into at the time. So that's basically what was the main reason. You know, I never used to play those math learning <laughs> games or anything like that. I mean, come on, you're, you're letting students sign out a PlayStation 1. You think they're going to play learning games when they're home? No, they're... Just, okay. But Crash Bandicoot is called Insane Trilogy. It, it looks awesome. The levels, it's like they did, they show before and after. And it was night and day. It was, it was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful game. Uh, so another thing that they show... Well, I didn't really... That's the, afterwards, then they started showing a bunch of indie games. Some of them looked interesting. One of them was Pyro or Pyre or something like that, which was made by the people who made, um, what was it? I think it was Transistor? No, Trans something. I forget. Oh my goodness. Bastion and uh, something else. If you guys know what I'm talking about, if the game Bastion, the same creators who made that game may, are making a new game called Pyre or Pyro, something like that. It looked awesome. You could tell the art design. It, it's like it's their it's their art design. You you know like what company makes it. As soon as you see like how the game looks, it looks so much fun. I that's like the one indie. I'm not a big indie uh, fan, but that's like one indie game I definitely would love to play. Definitely. Uh, so after that, they show a bunch of you know other indie games, and then they showed Yakuza Six come that's coming to the West and Yakuza Kiwami. Two games I seriously want badly, definitely. The thing is, I own Yakuza 5, and I still haven't beaten it yet. I, I seriously, I just want, like, Yakuza from 1 to 5 for the PS4, like, one bundle. Just give me that so I can play all of them. That's all I want to do, seriously. Because I want to get Yakuza 6, so I'm going to buy it either way. But I... <laughs> I wanna, I wanna like play all the other ones. You, you don't, you're not obligated to because in uh, other Yakuza games they have like this um, mode where it gives you like it, it gives like a short movie of the previous Yakuza game, so you get the story of it. Uh, but me personally, I'd rather play through it. Um, t to be honest, that's just me. But I mean, I don't know. I may just like watch the the story of Yakuza from one to four at least. Just so I get the story, play through 5, and then wait till 6 comes out. And also play Kiwami uh, as well. Because Yakuza is such a great game, so much fun. Um, so yeah, that's that's definitely a day one buy for me. Uh, and then they did, sh what else did they show? They showed like a sports game and stuff like that. Uh, again, I didn't really get to pay attention too much because I was actually on the road as I was watching the rest of PlayStation Experience. So I wasn't really paying attention too much. Uh, to uh, some of the other titles I guess they were showing, but I did pay attention to the last one, which is The Last of Us Part 2. When I seen it, oh my god, first of all, they said they had one more announcement, I was like, holy freaking crap, this is it. When they showed, like, the forest and everything, and everything was look low, like a bandit, I was like, this is it. This is The Last of Us 2 right here, this has to be it. And sure enough, it was. Oh my gosh. And when Ellie started playing the guitar, I thought she was going to start playing the Last of Us theme song. Which, to be honest, I actually learned how to play and it's actually really easy. So now every time when I play it, it just like, I just keep, I always think of the Last of Us. And it's just like a really nice melody, you know, too. I just really like the sound of it. But in this trailer, uh, she's actually singing a song. 
Yeah, and then they showed Joel, oh my gosh. Ellie, first of all, obviously she got older. She looks maybe close to like 20 years old. I don't know how uh, Joel looks or anything like that, but man. E3 2017. Please show more of The Last of Us 2. They're obviously going to show more of it. I mean, what am I talking about? They're definitely going to show more of it. Man, Naughty Dog is on a freaking roll with these games. It's unbelievable. Holy crap. It's going to be... It's going to be an amazing E3 next year. It's going to be amazing from X, from Xbox Scorpio announcement to uh, future titles coming out for Nintendo Switch, uh, for The Last of Us, for the next God of War game. This is an insane time. Just an amazing, amazing time to be a gamer. It's unbelievable. I cannot wait for E3 next year. I hope financially things are better on my part and stuff like that because I am going to go straight up crazy <laughs> with all these amazing titles coming out. It's going to be amazing. I seriously can't wait. Holy crap. I'm just like still mind blown about The Last of Us. I screamed in the car. It was it was intense. I had I had a moment. I had a moment. <laughs> oh man, but you guys, it's wow. I mean, PlayStation Experience 2016. It was it was outstanding tomorrow. I, I, don't, I think they're going to do another panel, so I can't wait for that. Um, so my next video is actually going to be me talking about Mass Effect Andromeda gameplay that was recently showed, as well as the tra new trailer for Death Stranding uh, that they showed at the Video Game Awards, uh, which was a little bit confusing, the trailer, but, uh, you know, I mean, I have some theories on it. And Mass Effect gameplay, that blew my mind, so, but I'm going to talk about that in another video. But, yeah. So, you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have not seen PlayStation Experience, I will see if, um, see, here's the thing. I'm, I edit all my videos now on my phone, so I'll try my best to put a link in the description. If not, just go on PlayStation's YouTube channel, and the whole entire uh, conference is right there, along with all the other trailers. The Last of Us 2 trailer is actually in 2K of resolution, so, uh, yeah, check that out. It's actually really good. All right, you guys, well... That's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all at another time. Another video. Take care.